Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are security conscious and using Google Chrome, then just to let you know that um, it seems that in our next major version upgrade to Chrome version 122, um, Google will be adding more security to the actual Chrome browser by adding an extra layer of protection to the network service. And they're going to be doing this by using sandboxing, which basically isolates the actual network service to prevent harmful third-party and malicious code from fiddling and tampering with the service. And as mentioned, that means that um, it could enhance your browser security. Now, this is not available as yet in the stable version. Uh, it is available with Chrome version 122, which is currently still in preview. I'm demonstrating this today on Chrome Canary version 123, which is the latest preview version. And first of all, uh, just to locate the network service uh, in the task manager um, and how to do, get to that is we just head to our main menu more tools and yeah we can see the task manager and these are all the different tasks running um, in the background while using the browser and yeah you can see utility network service and uh, um, this is the, the service that uh, Google is going to be sandboxing now the reason they're going to be sandboxing this is because this um, is a very important service because it's basically the process that's responsible for all your internet connections in Google Chrome. So that's a very important um, service because without the internet connection, obviously, in most cases, um, the browser is redundant. Now, over and above um, improving the security, you can also improve the reliability by sandboxing this network service um, because um, it can then uh, prevent unexpected crashes or errors and because of that obviously if it's preventing crashes and errors by sandboxing the service it can lead to a much more reliable and stable experience when you are using chrome so it's basically a twofold there's a twofold benefit enhanced security and in improved reliability by sandboxing the network service so if you are running a preview version of google chrome version 122 or later and you want to check if this has been sandboxed it's actually quite simple to do now as mentioned this is not available as yet in the stable and currently the stable version is on chrome version 121 so the next version 122 should have this new sandboxing feature sandboxing the network service so to double check uh, we just head up to our omnibox and we enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash and you just enter sandbox so that's chrome colon forward slash forward slash sandbox and you just click on the relevant entry and here we can see the sandbox status now what we are looking for here is the process listed as 1832 sorry 18332 so process 18332 and network service as mentioned and here you can see if it shows sandbox at the top not sandboxed then obviously it's currently not isolated. But as you can see, I'm running Chrome Canary and it says network. So if it says, um, if it does show sandbox and networked, as in my case, then it's running inside a Windows app container indicating active sandboxing. And if you want more info, you can just click on the relevant um, plus icons and buttons if you want more information um, about what's actually going on, if you are a little bit more technically inclined. So I just wanted to put that out there because obviously... Um, a lot of us, including myself, use Google Chrome, and I think this may be a nice move because obviously this will, to some extent or the other, improve the reliability and especially your security by sandboxing that network service. And as mentioned, Google is planning to enable network service sandboxing um, on Windows with Chrome version 122, which will be our next stable release. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.